but it is so dark that we're just gonna need to film at home. As you can tell from the title, today I'll be trying Starbucks holiday drinks. And I know everyone always does these in their car. I couldn't do that because Oh yeah, it was too dark. For the past, like, I'd say, like, week, I've been trying to lower my tolerance for caffeine because I'll drink, like, five cups a day and, like, I'll feel dead still. And that's not okay. Like, at all. Like, that's not okay at all. Like, like um, I've literally been drinking caffeine since I was, like, in middle school. I didn't always drink coffee. I used to, like, drink green tea every morning. I feel like this cup, I feel like, okay. We're gonna start off with one I've already tasted and I always get all the time. Because, well, not all the time, I just get it around the holidays. Um, one of my friends, <laughs> and now she's watching this. I don't know why I act the way I act. Okay, so obviously everyone knows the peppermint mocha but with those starbucks i went to they were out of peppermint syrup so i couldn't get that it's peppermint peppermint is christmas duh but there was no peppermint syrup so we didn't get that uh the first one we're we'll trying is the caramel brulee latte i thought it was a creme brulee but i guess it's caramel brulee i want to show you guys the cup because it's kind of cute they have i have like i think it's four different cups but i have three of the four my nails are so ugly. This is going to be so ugly. No, I don't want you guys to see how ugly my nails are. Okay, I'm going to hold it like this. That's the cut. Imagine if I drop it, I'd just start crying. That would literally push me over the edge. So this is the creme brulee, caramel brulee latte. It has shots of espresso, steamed milk, and rich caramel brulee sauce. And topped with whipped cream and delimate, delimate, delicate, creme brulee, like top. It's literally up to here and there's like i don't know i'm just gonna taste it i've already had this before like i said my friend put me on mm. Ugh. they didn't put enough like caramel brulee sauce i can taste it because it never tasted like this but it's still regardless good like let me try to explain the taste so coffee And I taste sweet. That's it. It's really good though. I just feel like if they made it properly, like I even like they're supposed to give me whipped cream. But you know what? Overall, the drink it depends on like how lucky you are. Like what barista you get. But normally when I get the drink, it's about like a oh my gosh, when it's just like hot. Normally like I'm a cold drink person, but like when it's hot and it's like you can taste the like caramel and like the like it tastes like not marshmallows but like i guess um, the taste i'm looking for is creme brulee but i don't think i've ever had that but i'm guessing that's what it tastes like because it makes sense that this is what it tastes like yeah overall normally it's about an eight to ten no i'll say nine it's a nine but this is not that good this is like a seven so but it's still really good like i'll still drink this Y'all, guess what time it is? Ah, huh. I have a headache, so my head is really tender. Okay, guess what time it is? Seven o'clock. I'm literally always filming at seven o'clock, and I don't know why. Why am I always filming at seven o'clock? I'm always drinking coffee at seven o'clock, but I haven't been drinking coffee in like a few days, and plus I like lowered it by like ninety percent. I only have like barely any coffee. Next we have the eggnog latte. My brain is like, my brain feels like, I'm not really good at describing because like it just feels like what it feels like. Oh, let me show you guys the cup again. Y'all know the drill, can't see my ugly ass nails. It's cute, it has like little dotty dots, dots, polka dots. <gasps> I love drinking coffee because I feel like it just makes my brain work. And like, all I want is a working brain. Like, it's made from 
richly steamed eggnog and our signature espresso, and then topped with a dusting of nutmeg, the perfect long-awaited companion. Oh yay, they didn't scam me this time. It's full. I never really liked eggnog, it just tastes like egg milk with cinnamon and nutmeg, which it really is, but like it just it doesn't taste like eggnog, it just tastes like eggs and milk and cinnamon and nutmeg, like I said, but I just repeated myself because see like I'm not really good at describing, I just like know what I mean. Okay, cheers. It just tastes spicy. I don't know if I'm saying the right spice, but you know peppercorn? How it smells? This tastes like that. Oh my god, that's the perfect, that's the perfect analogy. Ah, <laughs> oh, my stomach is gurgling, like painfully. Okay. It literally tastes like spicy peppercorn. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm definitely going to drink it. Oh yeah. Let me read it. So eggnog latte. I give it a solid five. It's good because you can taste the coffee. But if you, if the, the description spicy peppercorns taste good in your mind, this is the drink for you. And it still tastes like coffee though. So like me as a person who enjoys coffee, it tastes like... I don't know what I was gonna say because I picked up my computer and my brain just went blank. Like my eye, I can, like when I'm tired, I can physically feel my eye bags getting deeper and deeper. I need to put my tongue in my mouth. Emily with their Don't listen. There's no whipped cream on any of these. Like how sad. Okay, gingerbread latte. Sweet and delicacy sweet. It is sweet and delicately spicy gingerbread flavors mingle with our signature espresso. All of these have espresso. I don't mind, but I literally cannot stay focused. Signature espresso, steamed milk, topped with whipped cream and nutmeg. Why everything nutmeg? It smells like you want it to smell, but like worse. Okay, why is that literally good? Okay, why is that so good? I don't even like the gingerbread. This is like... This tastes like... If you took like a... It's really good, but like... If you took like gingerbread make like gingerbread house if you took gingerbread house like even english if you took like a gingerbread house or like a piece of like gingerbread man or something and you were to like crush it up and like put it in milk and then steam the milk and then put an espresso shot in it why does this hit different and okay, now on to our last drink okay, like, even though i took a tolerance break tolerance break even though i stopped drinking coffee for a while so i would lose I don't know how to finish that sentence. Sorry, you guys are just going to have to understand this sign language. Okay, it's almost 8 o'clock, but this is the last one. I'm pretty sure this is like cold brew, but I don't remember what kind of cold brew. Okay, Irish cream cold brew. I don't know if this is Christmas or what, but it was on the... F My last video got copyrighted and it was like heartbreaking because it literally wouldn't let me post it. And I had to like save and upload and save and upload and save and upload like for like three hours straight because it was just not letting me post it at all like that's why i can't do get ready with me's and playlists which is kind of like i wouldn't say my favorite video but it's like a really e easy video to film oh brain off brain switch off okay, everything and more you ever wanted in a sippable dreamy holiday drink starbucks cold brew swirled with irish cream syrup and then topped with a cloud i'm gonna I don't remember how I even finished. Okay, so it's 
cold brew swirled with Irish cream syrup and topped with a cloud of vanilla sweet cream cold foam and a hint of cocoa. I don't like that they don't put the amount of ca- Oh, they do! Lit. I'm really fascinated by like the idea of how much caffeine is in shit. And I also have been on a dairy cleanse where I haven't had dairy for the longest as well. So I know this is going to make me- Okay, so the initial taste. Okay, I didn't. I don't know if I rated this, but this one is a a nine. It's really good. And you don't even have to like gingerbread because I don't exactly like gingerbread, but this is still good. Oh, the initial taste almost vomited, but like the aftertaste. It, I guess that's what Irish cream tastes like. Like swallow, and then you taste it. It tastes like an airy whipped cream. I don't know what's Irish about it. It tastes like sour in a sense. Yeah, it tastes like sour, cloud, coffee, milk. Yeah. Like what's Irish about it? Like what's Irish? Like what's the flavor of an Irish? That's what I don't understand. Like, I guess that's about it for this video. This is about a five. Again, you can taste the coffee. So overall, if you like the taste of coffee, you're gonna like any of these because the coffee taste is there. It's just like hints of other things. It's coffee with a hint of expired milk. This one's coffee with a hint of spicy peppercorn. Gingerbread is just milk with a t touch of gingerbread. And then here, this one, normally it tastes like like caramel goodness, but the barista did not do it justice. It tastes like it's definitely bitter, but like what is the flavor? It tastes like concrete. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. That was a joke. <laughs> was it funny? Did you guys laugh? If you laugh, let me know. That was all for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment anything you want. If you guys have any video requests, I'm always taking them. You can either comment them or my social media is in the intro. So if you have any ideas, Please let me know. I'm here to post what you guys want to see. Okay, bye.